Hello guys, this is again Babu Krishna Das and I have brought my this video session to teach you how to use your one minute time when you are given to prepare your cue card. This is one of the most important time period because in between this time period you have to prepare to speak for two minutes of your cue card and most of the students have no idea how to speak in between the two minutes because they have not prepared in between the one minute of their cue card time. So in this video session, I'll be teaching you how to use your one minute. Here we go. Here is my first tip. Be focused because one minute time period is very short amount of time and lots of students divide their focus on different different things that how was their first part, what was their grammar about, did they make any pronunciation problem and all these things. So this time when they are thinking about other things, they lose their one minute. So first tip is that be focused in between this one. Here we go with the second tip. A simple, very simple list is more fine then you start making maps or start creating something in your mind. Because when you do with the map, you have to be focused with the circle and writing down the things. No, you don't need to do that. You just need to do simple thing. Make list one, two, three, four. This will make you more precise and more concentrated with your topic. So instead of doing mind map or designing your cue card with a map, just make a list this is my third tip this is very important that you be quick while deciding your topic that what you are going to speak because a lot of students waste their 15 to 20 seconds just to thinking about the topic that what they will speak for example you have to speak about the family member whom you are very close and you start thinking about your father your mother your sister your brother and you waste a lot of time so instead of doing that, be quick that whom about you will speak. So it will be easy for you to decide your topic and quick answers to the rest of the questions of the My fourth tip is very simple. Try to write down a keyword for each question of the cue card because you cannot miss the task response of your cue card. And if you skip any question, you will skip and miss your band score. So make sure you write down the list of keywords of each question of your cue card part. My fifth and most important tip, that you do not have to write down the sentences on your cue card. You have to just be focused with one single word that is called the keyword. And if you start erasing and making mistakes, don't need to do that. You just write down whatever you have written. Do not use rubber to re erase anything because your band score will be on the basis of your speaking, not what you write down on the cue card, whether it is a spelling mistake or anything on your card. So do not make sentences and do not erase anything on cue card. Just be focused with keywords on your part. My sixth and most important tip, try to use or speak the topic that you have already spoken in the past. And for this, you need to have good vocabulary for a lot of topics. And if you want to know which most important topics are, you can make me contact. Because you can easily speak about the topic that you have already spoken in the past. So make sure you practice around 100 cue cards before going for the final test. So use the topic that you have already spoken. My seventh tip for you to give more focus on answering each question of your cue card. A lot of students start preparing irrelevant stories, irrelevant examples and irrelevant things. They include everything in their cue card part and they do not give more focus on answering each question of their cue card because you will be judged with task response that is the 25% of your cue card. So my dear students, give answer of every question. Forget about grammar, forget, forget about irrelevant things. Just be focused, be precise with the questions that you are given. My last and eighth tip is 
practice 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 do not forget that you have to practice around 100 plus cue card before going to the exam and you should go under the training of well-trained trainers who have scored good band score in their exam as well because they can teach you better about IELTS and cue card section do not forget to give comment and likes to this video and if you have any other tip that you can share you can put it in comment box i will be sharing in other videos thank you so much have a great day